stream. Uh, we're going to continue working on our D&D inspired game, I'm going to say. Uh, rather than just like straight up D&D. We have now moved categories on Twitch. We are now in software and game development. Because yes. that makes more sense. And I think it'll be fun to see if we get a if we get any new uh, audience from people who are just like, oh yeah, that seems what's what's Hyperpad? How do I make a game in Hyperpad? Whatever. So yes. So I think that'll be fun. So I'm excited for that. Um, and then I think what we're going to do today, at least, so well. Let me, let me phrase it this way. So I've had a couple of different ideas of what we were going to do today. And one of them was going to be that we were going to work on a point and click game. Because someone in our Discord requested that there be tutorials on how to build something like that. And I don't think we've shown that anywhere. But in my head, as soon as he asked for it, I was like, yeah, I think I know how to do that. I think I could make a point and click game. I don't think that would be too difficult. Yeah, I think those are the most easiest things. Or yeah. mo one of the most easiest projects you can make in Hyperpad. Yeah, like, I think we could, like, in a stream, probably make, like, the beginnings of a hyper of a, of a point-and-click game. And then that, that would be the entire stream. And then next stream, we would move on to something else. Like, we wouldn't even bother coming back to it. We would just... Yeah. We would just go, here's, like, a very basic, like, here's one room of a point-and-click game. And we would just... Like kind of quickly sketch out a one one level or whatever, and then we'd be like, okay, and we're done. <laughs> and that would it would take us two hours. It's my thought. I don't know if I'm being overzealous there, but I'm I'm thinking it would be a very quick project that we would move on from pretty quickly. Um, at least that's what I would hope. Um, but uh, instead, what I think we're gonna do. Um, for the time being, is continue working on the D&D project. Um, and today, the original uh -oh, plan... It's lagging. Is it? It was lagging a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, I think it's I, fine. Oh, no. Nope, I can see it. Oh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you're lagging. It never used to do this, eh? I think it's because we moved to your channel, and your channel is different. The settings are different. Which is so weird, though. Like, why Why are the settings different? The settings shouldn't be different. I should be using, like, whatever default settings are on everything. Weird. Yeah, it's very weird. It, almost, it makes me want to, like... Log out, log in as my other account, write down as many of the <laughs> settings as I can, and then log back in as this account. <laughs> I'm not going to do that right now, but at some point I feel like I should do that because this is really bad. It yeah, seems, it seems like annoying. every once in a while it's like it just stops and stutters for a couple seconds, and then it's like, oh no, we're fine. And keeps going. Yeah. And it's very weird. Anyways, um, so I was looking at the D&D &D stuff, like a, a normal D&D &D character sheet, and where armor goes is actually an inventory list. Um, so it, it has, it shows your weapons, it shows your armor, it shows your random items that you're carrying, all of it. But if it happens to be a piece of armor, and you happen to have it set to equipped, it will then impact what your stats are. So, I've been trying to think about how we're going to replicate that. And there's a couple things that I've thought of. One of them being that I think maybe just doing an... Like, making a pre-set list of items. Like, making a dictionary of items with the stats that they affect. 
Um, oh yeah, yeah, I did something like that for my game. Yeah, and then and just being like, these are the only items. Like, like screw customization of being able to add anything you want. There are these items. There are these mm-hmm. armors. This is what you can add to your character. <laughs> Um, and then we just, we give a series of alerts, is what I was thinking, to be like, it'll just be like, add item or add armor, and then you click on that, and it'll give you a series of alerts that is just the names of different armors, Uh and then you'll click on one, and it'll be like, okay, add it, or it will pop up with the details of it, and then you'll be able to say if you want it or not. That that's my that that was one plan. I'm trying to think of what my other plans were. Cause like on a D and D sheet, it would just be under where we have weapons. Okay. But. I don't... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how... Because it's literally... It's just equipment. And then it has mods. And those um, mods do things. We can do that. Yeah, we can use dictionaries for that, I think. That should work. Yeah, it just means I have to like come up with all the items that are going to be... I mean, yeah. I can steal most of them from D and D. It's not. Um, but then, so the other thing that I was realizing might make it tricky. So I have to figure out how to do this properly. Um, when it is a piece of armor, like chainmail, and the chainmail has an AC of sixteen, your AC becomes 16. So AC is armor class. Um, uh-huh. So, like, you put on a piece of chainmail and your armor class becomes 16. I think by uh, default it's 12. I have it set to 16 right now because that's what I always set my armor class to, but I think it's actually 12. Um, okay. Anyways. So it sets to, to default value. Um, and then... If you put on armor, it overwrites that default value. However, if you put on a shield, a shield has two AC. And it adds to the armor. So that you then have 18 AC instead of 16. Okay. Armor overrides and other equipment would, like, add to it? Yeah. If, it, if it's, yeah, if it's, if it's like a shield, it's just a plus. Or if it's like, okay. I don't know what else. I don't maybe like a headband. I don't know if it or like a helmet. Maybe that's a plus instead of a like an overwrite. But when you have like your main piece of armor, it overwrites. Oh, this is giving me Terraria vibes. Yeah, that, you know that game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. That's all that kind of stuff comes from D and D. All that stuff. Wow. Um. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we will do. I think we're just gonna do essentially like the add weapon, and we're just gonna make another box that says add armor, and then another one that says add item, and it's just gonna have all of the stuff you can add to your character. The problem is. I don't want these lists to overlap each other. And I don't know how to limit that. Because I, like, I don't have a way, or we don't have a way in Hyperpad that I know of at least, to build a scrollable list inside of a game. (laughs) 
Is that correct, Rex? Did I lose Rex? I think I lost Rex at some point. My iPad crashed. Oh no! That is weird. I think we're just cursed today. Yeah, I don't know what to do about overlap. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I don't... Oh, yeah. How about that school list game? That is possible, but there's no behaviors for it. You have to, like, make it by yourself. What do you mean? How would I do that? You... Using the while touching behavior, you would detect how far the user has has moved their finger. Yeah, I make the whole the screen scroll. Yeah, but I mean, like, I want to make like one section scroll. Yeah, you can you can do that, but it's like it's a little bit harder because you're moving a group of objects instead of like the whole screen. Yeah. Okay. True. And I want them to like, can I, could I make them disappear after a certain point? Cause I like really want to like, cut it off. Yeah. Like what I want to do essentially is I'm going to use an empty object to outline it. Um, empty object. I want to make a box. Like, actually, I guess it starts up here. Cause this is where the first weapon is. I want to make a box like yay dimensions and okay. it will let so weapons can fill in here and then if they go past this they you won't see them but you could like scroll to them but if they oh. and then if you scroll they don't they also don't show up up here they only show up inside of this box not above so you're or talking below. About masking. You're talking about masking. We don't have that in Hyperpad yet. See, that's what that's I'm saying. That's like a feature that everyone wants. Yeah. Yeah, but no, the but only way you I don't want to do it with masking. masking. Like, I know what I know. Yeah. you're suggesting doing it with masking. What I'm so suggesting is that I wish we had a, like, scrollable window that I could place in my game. And then yeah. I could scroll <laughs> inside that window. Because then I wouldn't need masking. It would just be another window inside a window that I'm scrolling in. Which would be fine. But we don't have that feature either. <laughs> uh. So, in terms of, like, trying to make them not touch each other right now. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I could put some kind of object and, I guess, limit the object from being able to travel past it. But oh. then they would just then they would just stack at that point. Like, every time you add a weapon, it would just stack on top of itself. So it, it would I mean, break it. There's a way to hide and show graphics. Like, visually. Like, it won't destroy the object. It'll just hide it until you want to show it again. It makes it invisible. That's what it does. Yeah, but... The, but then we'd have to figure out some kind of like mechanic to like sort through the invisible ones, and that seems complicated. And <laughs> but yeah, it actually does seem seem fun. But what we could do is, I guess, limit the number of weapons a a user can have, and have it like it goes down to a certain level, and then when it hits that, it's like once the block can no longer move down then we make the add weapon button disappear. Uh, and just go, nope, you can't add weapons anymore. Sorry, bye bye <laughs> Yeah, that's like the easy solution. Yeah, or maybe not, e not remove it, but like disable it until uh, 
until some until you like delete one of your weapons and then it'll appear again and be like, Oh yeah, you can add it now. Yeah. But I don't I haven't built in any delete function for the weapons. That also seems complicated. Oh yeah. Thinking about it, it is a little bit complicated because once you delete it, like there it's like all these other ones are like floating. Yeah. And they should be moving up. Yep. Yeah, everything should stay in line, but it but I have to make sure that like when it moves up it's not moving into anything or Yeah. Like that it's not the wrong spot trying to move up. I don't know. I or, did, I think yeah, I did something like this before. You would use an array. Yeah. And then the indexes would be filled with like object IDs. Something True. like that. Yeah. Could maybe do that. Maybe we should just make the point and click game. <laughs> I just Wait, you wanna do a point a point and click game? I just my I just I can't my brain is really having a tough time of deciding on how I think armor should be done. And like and this weapon spacing thing. Maybe I just won't worry about the spacing for now. Maybe that'll be a future me problem. And for now, since I'm the only one using it. I will not make more weapons, or make so many weapons that it overlaps the armor, or so on and so forth. So I just know better. And then I will build a system to prevent a player from doing it later. Does that seem reasonable to you, Rex? Yep, that's fair enough. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just going to copy all of this stuff. Copy. Copy. Nope. Nope. Whoa. You could grab that object, that would be cool. No. It's in a different layer. It shouldn't be. It should be right here. Can still grab that object. There we go. Weird. That was very weird. That was very weird. There we go. We're all fine now. Everything's fine. Problem of crisis averted. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So... Uh, we need to change this to, say, add armor. Spelling it the Canadian way, because I am Canadian, and of course Spellcheck doesn't like the Canadian <laughs> way. Leave it alone. Thank you. Um, I might end up not spelling it that way, by the way, because it already looks wrong. I know it's correct. I know that's how we spell armor in Canada. And I still think it's wrong. I'm, but if I spell it without the U, it will also look wrong to me. So it's just one of those words that just is broken in my brain, and I don't know why. It's a weird programming yeah, thing. About it. <laughs> I don't know if you've experienced it yet, but it happens to me all the time in programming. If Where if I write one word too many times, that word just stops existing. Like, it's just automatically wrong, even if it's a simple word. It's just, I, if, if I felt it too many times in a row, it just all of a sudden is wrong. Doesn't matter. It's just, nope. You just look yeah. at it, you go, I... Like, is that how you spell that? Are you sure? Like, is, is that... T H A T. That's oh. that's how you spell that, and then and then it's like yeah. obviously yes, obviously, <laughs> yeah, funny. yeah. It happens to me all the time in programming. And it's really frustrating because <laughs> it's always simple words. It's never a complicated word. It's always a really 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 simple word that just all of a sudden <laughs> becomes wrong, and I don't it's understand like why. <laughs> Color. <laughs> Oh, it's so uh, bad. Okay, anyways, so we need to edit this. I don't know if copying this was smart. 
because I feel like I just want to delete most of these behaviors. I feel like I don't actually want these. Oh. I feel like copying them was silly. You can you can start from scratch. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete it and make a new one. Bigger box. I don't know if that's how big that other box is, but. Close enough. Okay. So, on this box, we are going to do a stop stretching. I guess we should build the dictionaries first, eh? Yeah. Just let's see how, like, we should format it. Dictionary. Okay, so, if we're gonna do a key being the piece of armor, the value would be its AC. 16. Yeah. yeah, so the key is key is whatever the name of the armor is. The value is the is the AC that it's increasing. Um let me just write this down. Oh, wait, what other attributes should it have? Well that's what I'm wondering. If it should have other attributes, then maybe we might do a different system of dictionaries, of like nested dictionaries. But I don't know if it needs to have other val other values to be honest. Um like looking at my character sheet on my piece of chainmail it has that it's an, it's a piece of heavy armor which i don't know how much i care about saying like what type of armor it is um and then there's the ac and then there's a description and that's okay. it and when i open up a shield Thanks. It has AC, category, rarity, and weight. And I don't care about weight. I don't currently care about rarity. Um, though, I suppose I should. Because that could be how I deal with rewards, right? Is with rarity if I... If I'm going to make a system that, like, randomly distributes rewards, if I had a bunch of rewards that were all tagged at different rarity levels, then I could use that tag to sort what which rewards are being given at what time. So when you're yeah, like only, yeah. like, levels, like, 1 through 5, you get common I rarity items. When you're at levels 5 through 10, you get rare items and so on and so forth. Yeah, maybe I should do rarity. Rarity and AC. Okay, so we're going to have to do multi-dictionaries. Oh, there's going to be so many of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how many weapons we're doing. Well, so... How, like, I'm trying to think of what's, what's going to be the smartest way of doing this. We're going to we're going to have to have a central dictionary that where it's like an ID number and then the name. Wait up. Like what's our our central dictionary that links and then cuz we need to have 
Or I guess we just do a dictionary, and then the value is an array. Of... Yeah. Of all of... Ooh, of I all of the details idea. of the item. And we'll just have a bunch of arrays that are items? I think I have a better idea. Okay, what's your it's, idea? We can, we can use multiple dictionary, and each dictionary has its own attribute. So this one could be AC. Then another dictionary will store its what type it is, and then yeah. another one will store a different attribute. Okay, and how do we link those? Like, how do we access them? They all use the same key, which is going to be the the name of the weapon. Okay. Oh, and then we just call dictionary like AC dictionary. Uh, uh, well, yeah, you can name these dictionaries so rarity to... dictionary whatever, and then we yeah. just know that like okay, if you're pulling from this dictionary, what you're pulling is the rarity, or what you're pulling is the AC value, or whatever. Yes. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. I like that. AC dictionary. Okay, so then I I'm just need to write down all the items that we end up agreeing are going to be in our list, so that we have a... Actually, I'm going to write these down on my computer. Let's get a notepad going. Let's have it on the screen somewhere for people Ooh. to see. That would be nice, right? Is there going to be a good way for me to do this and not display things I shouldn't display, though? Hmm. Bye, Nako. Bye, Nako. Cat. Ah! I see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I want you guys to be able to see the notes I'm writing, but I don't want you to be able to see the rest of the screen. So how am I going to go about doing this? Hmm. Hmm. I just don't want anything to be... I guess nothing that you can that you can see gives anything away about anything. I just mm, can I have a different section here? Oh yes, I can. I can have a new folder. No, we're good. I figured it out. We're good. A uh, new folder of stream, and now I can write notes, and no one will see them. So now I can just display this. Oh. Whoa. There. So now you can see it too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't say anything, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have this, and then. Right, I need to add a window capture. Add a new source. Notes. Add source, select option, gotta find the notes app. Sorry, I took over the stream for a second, I'm gonna make it small. I hope this is gonna work. I don't know if it will, like I, if this, like I hope this is gonna look okay. Ooh. I don't know if it will. I don't think it will actually. Now that I think about it, but we'll see. This I'm gonna try and do something real, real schnazzy in a second. I'm gonna move it behind everything. Oh, that's so smart. Everything else on top, perfect. So then, hopefully, what you see is me writing notes, and then I'll just make. The oh, I love that. I'm hoping this will work. Nice. Okay, so it's not entirely... I need to move this window over a little bit. Boom. Yeah, I can see it. And then the bit. chat will actually raise over top of this, so it, <laughs> it might look silly as we go, depending on how much chat happens, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll just, we'll just keep it rolling for now. 
Okay, so. Let's see. How are we going to tackle this? We're going to have items. So we have chainmail. How does this look on stream? That's not very readable. I'm going to make all of the font. Um, has heading. Nope, I'm going to make it all the title font. We'll just put stars around the title. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I think that's that's readable, at least. So, chainmail, and we're going to have a shield, I guess. Oh, it didn't keep the font on. Keep title on. Shield. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. You're going to have to keep doing that. <laughs> I not just keep it on all the time? What is this nonsense? I hate Apple. This happens in Google Docs too. Does it? Yeah. And I don't think there's a way to turn it off. That sucks. This is silly. Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. I could just set that. Fine. There we go. This is what I want anyways. Oh, okay. Oh, I can just command plus and get a bigger font? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that works. Is that readable? Yeah, it's readable. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Done. Done! Who needs titles? Have your titles be whatever you want. I'm just going to make super super font. Okay. Chainmail. No! Why? Why would you reset? Why would you not keep it? I think you would have to copy and paste that if you want to keep doing that. Yeah, and then just replace it. <laughs> oh my god, so okay. many! Jeez, well, how many are you doing? Now I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just great. It's gonna say chain out everywhere. Good. It's, it's gonna screen. be the death of me. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I could just remove these now and the, and the formatting would stay. Probably not. Probably not. Um, so, chainmail, shield, uh, I guess we should have, like, leather armor of some sort, probably. Um, let me, I'm looking in a D&D compendium right now to see what, what exists. So there is leather armor. Yep, so we can do that. Leather armor. Is there like cloth armor? Is there all of the lane things? Uh, there's gonna be so many armor types. Okay, there's not cloth. Um, there is like plate mail, I think. There's a breastplate, specifically as a piece of armor. Okay. See, I could totally just delete these now. As long as I keep the line intact, I think I could backspace all of I could backspace these away. Yeah. And it will keep my formatting there. And then we don't have to stare at it saying chainmail. <laughs> It's slightly prettier for everybody on the stream. I might have deleted one of the rows, but that's okay. Wow, where's everyone? 
There you go. I know it's a quiet day today. Normally we have at least a few people come in and say hi, and today it's just me and you. That's it. It's very quiet. No nonsense, no laser bird, no Susanna, no whiny, no nothing. But I'm trying to think of who else is a regular. I might have missed somebody. No Twitch Raincast or whatever, Rain Twitch cast? Yeah. Language quest. Yeah. Um, right, okay. So what other armor? Can I just like search by armor? Because that would be super swell. You know what? That does seem to be working for the most part. I mean, it's at least giving me a lot of different types of armor. It's not giving me all of them, because it's not giving me, like, chain mail. Um, types of armor in 5e. Okay, this will work. This will, this, this, yes, this is perfect. Oh, yes. I even have a, I have a perf, I even have a thing of like what your AC is when you're wearing it. This is perfect. <laughs> it has the armor, the cost, which I don't really care about. I guess I maybe should care about, but I don't currently. Um, that can be a separate table later that I add it one day at one point in time. Yeah. You can just literally add a new dictionary and then place auto values. Yep. Which is perfect. It's so nice. Um, that Doing this system is actually going to work really well. It actually almost makes me want to redo weapons. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a way easier system than what we made for weapons. We weapons is way more customizable, but it's also a pain in my butt. And if I had just made... <laughs> A series of dictionaries, and and just like been like, no, these are your weapons. You can choose one of these already existing ones. If you have a new weapon you would like to see in the game, let me know, and I will add it. And then I could just modify the dictionaries as time goes on. Yeah, and that would be and so much simpler. <laughs> We're learning though. We didn't do that last time. We, we did Woo. something much easier. <laughs> and we're, we're probably going to use this from now on. <laughs> yeah, I, I think this system is going to be a way, a way better system for... And, and way more realistic to what real game development is. Real game development, you don't let users create their own weapons, create their own armor, whatever. You have a set of, of armor, weapons, whatever, that exists in your world. And you allow your users to use those things. Mm. And then you balance them because you've set all of the values on them. So you know what everything is. You're not, you're not relying on some user to, like, play the game properly. <laughs> yeah. You're going, no, this weapon does this thing because I said it does this thing because it makes the rest of the game make sense. <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably better. I think that's probably what we should do. It... It does mean if I want my game to go all the way up to, like, level 100 or something like that, I have to do a lot of planning in terms of, like, making scalable weapons that work at every level of the game. Or, like, at literally every level. But, yeah. Anyways. I'm going to continue writing down this list. I'm actually, but I'm going to write it the way they have it from the top, because um, it's in classes. So it's light armor first, and there is padded armor, there is leather armor, and there is studded leather armor. Uh, AC is 11 plus dex. 
AC is 11 plus dex. So that's the thing, is the plus dex modifier, I'm gonna, we're just gonna have to, like, build in by default, I think. Because most things, until you get to heavy armor, most things include your dex. Okay. Like, like th there's a lot of weird rules. Like, you'll, you'll see as I continue writing these down. Though this doesn't have rarities, so I might have to, if I do want to do rarities, I might have to figure that out myself uh, later. But anyways, uh, and then there is medium armor. Actually, I'm going to make a space between these. And there we have hide armor, chain shirt, scale mail, breastplate, and half plate. The hide armor gives you 12 plus dex. The chain shirt gives you 13 plus dex. Scale shirt gives you 14 plus dex. And I guess, again, with the rarities, I could add those at any point in time if I decided later that I wanted to add in a, a rarity system. Okay. Because we're just doing the separate dictionaries, so I could just add another dictionary that is item rarity at any point in time. 15 plus dex. And then heavy armor. Did I spell the other ones? Yeah, I did. Okay, just checking. Uh, we have ring mail, chain mail, splint, and plate armor. Ring mail just gives you 14, chain mail just gives you 16, splint just gives you 17, and plate gives you 18. And then a shield, there is only a shield, it gives you plus two. So that's the difference, is all of this armor is like, so there's a bunch that are, oh right, and these have limits. Um, max two, max two, Ooh. right? And so I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna what I'm gonna do about those limits. According, Max yes, because on D and D, so like you have, I'll bring up my character sheet again. Um, oh, sorry, I'm gonna scroll this. Oh no, it's not wide enough. The chat can't see, or <laughs> not, the stream can't see the max two on most of these, but. It's there, I promise. Anyways, um, so back on the simulator. So if I go back out into here. So these big numbers are typically not like whatever your role is. So what I have them being right now is whatever your role is. So being like 19 or 20 or 18 or whatever. But typically, if you had like 18... That means you have, like, a plus two attack or something. Like, you have a plus two in strength. And if you, and then if you keep going up, you can get, like, a plus three, a plus four, a plus five, so on and so forth. No. And so what they're limiting is that on... Is that, like, light armor will always add your dexterity. No matter how much dexterity you have, it will always add it. Medium armor will only let you use two points of dexterity. And then it stops you. Um, okay. And then heavy armor doesn't let you use any. Heavy armor is just heavy armor. So. I'm now wondering, like, looking at this, I'm now wondering why I've always been suggested to wear heavy armor. Hmm. I guess plate mail does make the most sense if you can if you have the strength to wield it. Because plate mail gives you 18 AC. Anything else gives you oh, right. um, 
and nothing else gives you quite that much. So, like, even, like, in basic modifiers, I think the most dex modifier you would get is 5. So the light armor maxes out at, like, 17. And the um, medium armor maxes out at, like, 17. Because it only lets you use two of your dex. So that makes heavy armor better by one point. Which... Okay. Which is... I guess a reason to use it. Um, but like in my in my game, the idea is that your decks can raise infinitely. So a limiting what medium armor can use of it seems kind of silly unless I'm going to be buffing the medium armor. Like like unless this is all like medium armor until you're level ten. And then at level 10, you get, like, medium art. You'll get, like, this plus two. And it will automatically buff your stats a couple more. Or something like that. Or you'll get medium armor that has a slightly bigger allowance of how much dexterity it's allowed to use. Or maybe you'll get a special piece of medium armor that allows you to use more dexterity. But... And then light armor will just always use all of your dexterity. And then heavy armor will never use it. Is that going to be complicated for us to build? I don't think so. I think we can just use flags for that. Oh, uh, right, so we can just tag them by their... Um... Yeah, we can just make a whole dic another dictionary. That says, that says which which armor class they are? Yeah. Or like, sorry, like which, like if they're heavy armor, medium armor, or light armor. Yeah, yeah, and then there can be like a. Oh wait, because they all, each each armor class does the same like. Yeah, through the whole thing, uses all of the decks, okay. has a max of two, has doesn't use decks at all. Yeah, yeah, we did that. And then shield is is a straight plus instead of a. Uh, it, which okay. I will, I don't know if I want to do plus two. I want I don't I don't know if I'd rather do like shield as a category, and it's a plus whatever the shield's AC is. So if we have like ten different types of shields, each shield will have a different plus that it gives. They a lot of them might have plus twos, and it's just a matter of like what you're saying stylistically for your shield. Now that would be lame. They should not all be plus twos. But yeah, having like a shield that does plus two, a shield that does plus three, a shield that does plus four, maybe even a shield that only does plus one. And but having like the shield category be a plus category versus the heavy armor category, medium armor, and light armor categories. But I don't know. Yeah, anyways. We'll just start building dictionaries because we have our list now. I'm going to scroll back up yes. to the top of it so that it stays on stream. And I need some water. Yes, hydrate. Mm-hmm. Especially since I don't stop talking for like the entire two hours that we do these streams. <laughs> Um, okay. So we're going back in here, we're going back to our dictionary. So this is our first dictionary that is all about the ACs. So we're going to start with padded armor. Should I write armor after all these, do you think? Or do you, do you think I should just write padded? Um, I don't know. It's your choice. It's a matter of preference. I mean, it's you're like an example user, though. Um, if it's more convenient for you, then sure. I mean, it's more convenient for me to not write it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's your choice, so <laughs> really mine. Hmm? Studded leather... 
has an AC of 12. Hide has an AC of 12. Chain shirt has an AC of 13. Scale mail has an AC of 14. Breastplate has an AC of 14. And half plate has an AC of 15. And then we have our heavy armors and our shield. I want to have both those things. Just wanted to make them both visible on the stream. I'm literally using the stream just to like as my reference when I'm continuing to write these. Rather than pulling back That's up the notes app, I'm using the stream. <laughs> Ring mail. Chain mail. Splint mail. Plate. I don't know why I said splint mail, it's just splint plate. And then the last thing is, for now, just a normal shield. Oops, it's two eyes. Shield, which has two. So there are 13 items in our dictionaries. And now we do the beautiful thing of we just copy and paste this, and we just replace the values. That'll be the easiest way to rebuild this. Um, what should our next one be? I guess the... Um, uh, what would we call this? Uh, classification? I don't know. What would you? Yeah, classification. Like a re like we're identifying armor types. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it changed the order on me. I think it does that when you close the dictionary. So the other one would be the same missing order. Weird. Wait, is it in a different order? No, they're in the same order no, as each order. other, but they're just a different order than I originally made. I thought it would be like alphabetical order. But that doesn't seem to be it. Yeah, it's totally not alphabetical order. It seems to be completely random. Yep. Well, that's not convenient. You said it happens when you clone a dictionary? When you close a dictionary. Close a dictionary. So, like, after you're done, yeah, after you're done editing it, then it'll do that. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's so... Weird. Okay. I guess uh, the only way you could like organize it is by having it alphabetical order. But that's pretty much it. But it doesn't sort by alphabetical. Yeah, that is random. <laughs> like if you're giving like a dictionary, like in JSON form, like it's not an ordered form. Yeah. The keys are not in order. It's not always in order. It's random. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. It's fine. 
Um, I just have to pay a lot more attention to this while I'm doing this. That's heavy armor. Heavy armor. Chain shirt, I think, was medium armor. Oh, scale mail is also medium armor. Whoops. Is ring mail? No, ring mail is heavy. Hide is medium. Breastplate's medium. I think leather. Leather was light. A uh, shield is a shield. Splint is heavy. Padded is light. Plate is heavy. Chain mail is heavy. Half plate is medium. Studded leather is light. Okay. So that's our classifications and our armor classes, which is everything that we wrote down from D&D. So the only things left would be if I wanted to add rarity to it, or if I wanted to add anything else to it. Which I don't really. Uh, so what I want to do is when you stop touching the add item button, we want to display a series of alerts that are your choices. Yeah. Unless you think can unless you have a, an idea that's a, like a better way of doing it. Rex? Huh? Do you, like, is the array of, like, is doing this make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, and the cancel button is actually going to be next page because I know we're gonna we have thirteen, so we technically have more than what fits on one page of alerts. And then we're gonna make all of the other buttons. What should we split them? If we have thirteen, we should do probably six on one page and seven on the other. Probably makes the most sense. I'll we'll do seven on the first page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then how do I have to do a get dictionary value and get like Get it at oh. each inch index and then put it in here. Hmm. I like. I want the names of every, like, I want the keys of the dictionary of the. Uh... Keys of the dictionaries. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The not a problem with that is that uh, when you change a dictionary, it's not gonna. It's not gonna update. To alert you can even because you can only have like a, a, a limited amount of uh, alerts. yeah I know I'll have to change the alert behavior every time I change the dictionary unless you can think of a way to make it dynamically do this dang I wish that was a thing yeah right <laughs> it's not yeah 
Yeah, no, I'll have to update the alert every time I update the uh, the dictionary to show new values. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> yeah, you could convert it to like an array of keys. You would have to use the loop behavior. Well, not just an array. Like, I don't need that. Like, I just need... I just need to get the key at each value. Key of each value? Like, I just need, like... I need, like, key one. Key two. Key oh. three. That's, that's what I need. Oh. Yeah, you would have to convert it... A convert the dictionary to a key of uh, to an array of keys you would do it after loop behavior that's in the logic tab why would I do it that way though there's no other way to convert it to an, uh, an array of keys wait if the loop behavior works like that, maybe you can use get array value on a dictionary. Weird. I don't know. All right, because get dictionary value, like how, yeah, how, I need to make an array of keys. I don't like, I can't create an array of keys, can I? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. But like, I like how? How would I get? How would I have it make an array of keys? Wouldn't I just have to manually type out an array of keys? You could do that, but if you wanted to like change, like if, if like if you change the name, then you would have to use the loop behavior. In the loop behavior, there's a for each function. Now this would. Uh, it's like it's like in JavaScript. You can loop through each each value in an array. Uh, yeah. But you can also loop dictionaries too. So it will convert that to uh, an array of keys. Like if I do this, it'll give me the keys. Yeah. It will loop through every single key of that dictionary, and you can you can like add those keys to an array. So you want you you want an array that's gonna store these keys. I'm just trying to think if I could be skipping a step here, because it seems like I'm doing extra things that I don't understand why, but. I mean, there's no way to convert a dictionary to an array of keys without using the loop behavior. Right. It's I'm just only... thinking I, like, I don't know if I need this array is what I'm saying. No, you're going to need it. You're going to have to store those values somewhere or those keys somewhere. Yeah, right straight into here. Yeah. Well, okay, so how do I... How do I get the... Okay, uh, you want to use the modify array behavior. Yep. Okay, and do what with it? And in that, you wanted to, you wanted to modify array nine. So like, you change that array type to behavior. Oh yeah. I think, wait, no, you have to, you have to use that behavior, because it would change. And then the, it, the value it will add is the current value of loop 16. And this will be the key of the dictionary. Okay. Key, current value. There, now you have your array of dictionary keys. You can use get array value to retrieve them. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that I'm thinking there should be a behavior for that, just to like get an array of keys. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. well, yeah, it's it was, but it'll, it'll be tedious to keep down it. I'm just gonna need a billion of these. Yeah. Oh. Was I sneeze? Yep. <laughs> Your legs. Bless you. Oh. I'm going to sneeze again in a second, too. I can feel it. Ooh. We'll see. I'm going to try and fight it with all my might. I hate sneezing. Nope. I refuse. My eyes are watering. <laughs> You can only have a maximum of 10 buttons, though. Yep. Wait, why are you adding more? Well, because I have to get them all eventually anyways, so... Um. There's going to be two alerts, but I have to get them all at some point. Might as well get them all together. Uh. Rather than splitting it up and really confusing myself about what's where. We'll just do all the get array values at the same time, and then we'll move them all to whatever alert they need to be in as they as they go. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's be real smart about it. Okay. Okay, so at 15 is where we're currently cut off. I'm just going to write that down for a second. 15. I guess I could put this in the middle. I guess that would make more sense if I put this 
here. And then we need to get the user's input. And if the user's input is equal to the cancel button, which is, oh, it's that negative number. Where's one of those? Where's one of our checks here? Thought we changed these. Uh oh. That makes me concerned for my, uh, for whether or not this works. It's supposed to be like button deck zero is the cancel. Um, This time it'll actually be a cancel button. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Seventeen. I should clear all of these so that my brain doesn't get confused. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh shoot, that worked out evenly? I didn't think that was gonna be how that turned out. Ring, male scale, male chain shirt, hide, breastplate, leather, shield. And when you chose next, it did nothing. Because that's not what it's actually choosing. Again, that makes me very worried that my weapons aren't fixed. But we'll see. I also think I lost Rex, so I think it is now just me on the stream. But we will keep trekking on. I just want a text bubble that's going to display what was chosen. 
Mm, nope, don't want a text bubble. I lied. I do want an alert. Want an alert. That's going to display. What button index was pressed? Okay. That's all I want. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh. I guess it's decided to stop me streaming to Rex because Rex hasn't been there for five minutes. I don't know what happened to Rex, but we'll see. We'll see if he... I'm sure he'll come back. Um, where's this number? Rex and I had written it to each other, I think, last time. Or not. I thought he had. Oh no, you guys are going to have to give me a second. I need to take... I need to try and find um, where the message was about... Um, about the negatives. I gotta try and find that again. Oh, Rex is back. I'm gonna give him a call. Hey, Rex. Hey, that was weird. That was it's weird. Wild. Um. So, we're running into that glitch again that I thought we fixed, but I guess we didn't. Um, Wait, it? Um, where it gives the wrong, like when you hit cancel, it's not actually zero. I went back into weapon to try and find where we had fixed all those ifs to not be looking for zero for a cancel button and to be looking uh. for something else. And uh, I can't find any that were changed. All of them say boolean is equal to zero. And I was like, but I yeah, thought zero. Hmm. I thought we the already button. discovered that the button isn't zero though. The button is like neg is negative one one billion eight million whatever whatever yeah. whatever. Do you remember what that number is? Or do you remember where that is? Because I couldn't find it. Hmm. <laughs> and I don't seem to have said it anywhere in my app so far, even though I could have sworn that I did. I thought I sent it in a Discord somewhere. I thought you sent it in a Discord somewhere, and I couldn't find that either. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking for it. This is a big number. My gosh. I'm looking for it. What? And I just, I can't seem to find. That's weird. I thought, I, I, you saw me sent it, right? I swear. Oh. Yeah, I sent it. And Okay, I found it. You found it? Okay, we're... <laughs> well, it's not in... It's a picture, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have the title. <laughs> Useful. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate you. Still, still <laughs> better. If the index is equal to... I can get rid of the second alert.
There we go. <laughs> I typed it. Oh, you're a champion. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Uh, that big number. If index so is equal random. to this. I just wanted to test if I could get through the whole thing. But I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. And I'm now, I'm worried that all of our updates are gone. That, like, somehow oh, everything yeah. we did isn't there. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. That brings me to Oh, second. it works. I like... It's showing all the, the names. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you'll, it doesn't do anything else yet, but it, at least that's how you're going to pick which armor you're picking. I, I really do wish that the cancel was on the bottom, though. I really don't like the cancel being on the top. It kind of bugs me. Ugh, there should be a toggle for that. Yeah, because, like, especially trying to, like, replace cancel with next. Like, it makes zero sense for the next button to be at the top. Yeah. Zero sense. But, for simplicity's sake, it's better that everything else matches the, the, um... Like, that all of the indexes here are the same as the, um indexes on the dictionary I think is important but maybe not I don't know uh, yeah I what we did last week you put that number in a dictionary a big number I put it in a dictionary? Yeah. I remember we were trying to map out, map it out. Like, which index does what? Oh, yeah, you're right. It is in a dictionary. <laughs> okay. You are correct. It is in a dictionary. Okay, that's how it works. It's a dictionary. Okay. You just have to your money. <laughs> you did so much. Because I'd almost, like, I'd almost rather switch around everything on the alert and make the cancel button be the top button. Or the bottom button, I guess. Discord. I, yeah, Discord really doesn't like us today. Yeah, it's acting weird. Did you just drop again, or did you join? I, I just now joined. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. So, I'm thinking I want to replace... Like, I want to move this to where next is, and then make this next. Okay. You can do that. You just have to like switch out the, the indexes. Yeah, just do that and make this next and then have this be checking if the index is equal to six. Wait, what? Uh, that was weird. That was weird. I thought I saw, yeah, I, th I thought I saw, like, the, that big it number. It was the big there, number. It changed to zero. And That's then it weird. was gone. That was very weird. Huh. And then we'll go to this one. And I'm going to change this around as well, because again, I would rather this. And this. So 
I think that just looks... I think that'll look more natural. I think that'll make way more sense. I also want to make it, like, a red button. Like, I want to make it a different color. Uh, you don't have that functionality yet. Don't have that functionality? Okay. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Yes. Next, and then cancel. Looks much better. Yeah. That... That to me just makes more sense as a user flow when it's when both those buttons are at the bottom. It makes makes way more sense. Anyways, so um, I guess now I have to build the rest of the logic for it. So once you have done it. Um, Assuming by the end of this point, you will have picked. Oh, but they're... So I have to have this at two different times then. Because my if statement up here is going to have... Is going to have to have an else if. An else if the index is literally anything else. Do yeah. you... <laughs> Like so then the display video. the uh, the display what it is. Else if no. it is not equal to six. Yeah, that works. Then we need to. I'm gonna have to create another um, another one of these. You know what? I should move these over. Makes more sense if they're over here than if they're on that side. That one's beside weapon because it's for weapons. This one will be beside armor yeah. because it is for armor. Okay. So. Uh, if it's equal to zero, we are going to spawn an object on an object. Spawn on object. We're going to spawn this onto this. Oops, didn't mean to click that one. Add on to that. Did I change like the number of alive objects or anything on the on the other one? Uh, it depends on what, you, how much, or how many do you want at one given point. You could have two pieces of armor. Okay. Because so you can have a shield and a main piece of armor. For now. That'll change afterwards. And then not position random. How did I do this on the weapon? How do I spawn the weapons? That's what, what I want to mimic, is my weapon spawning. I think it was spawned on an object and then it moved the thingy. And then we set label, okay. Uh, and then we set some attributes to it. Oh wait, we don't need to set attributes, do we? Oh, I don't think we'll need to on this thing. one. Yeah. But I do need to move the thing. Where is move? Oh, it's in transform. I know the wrong thing. Move by? Yeah, move by. And we did absolute position. Sorry, move this guy. Move the Y. What, do we do two or one? 
I think we did like negative two around there. Yeah, I think it was two. You can all, you can check the other one. I'm gonna do it in an instant. Yep. And then we want to set the label of the spawned object to be whatever it pulls out of. So how are we going to do that? Ooh, that's going to be a little bit confusing. We could use get array. No. Wait. <laughs> Are we gonna have to make another dictionary that is the? Probably, cause it has that big number in it. Yeah. That we have to use. Yeah. We will have to do it for both of them. Yeah. So dictionary has to be. God, I don't know what the order of these is. This is gonna suck. It's because it's in like a random order. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna write down the order, just on a piece of paper out of here. Actually, I'll write it down on my notes app. We'll do that. We'll just scroll down in notes. I'll write it all down here. The new order oh, is in the same order. Ring mail. Scale mail, chain shirt, hi. Oh right, I'm not in this order, am I? Even on when they get displayed. Not sure. Ooh, that with that um array, you could you could sort it if you want. Added plate. By alphabetical, yeah, but that just might make things more confusing. More confusing? Okay. Started. So that's the order of things. And to double test or double check this. We should be able to just. I think it it should be ring mail to shield. Whoa. So shield is first. But then ring mail, scale mail, chain shirt, hide, breastplate, leather. Yeah, because we switched the next button in shield. Otherwise, shield would have been at the bottom. So yeah, I guess I can ahead. fix this by. By moving shield or shield to the bottom instead. No, shield's just going to be the big number. Huh. Yeah, shield's the big number. Yeah, shield's the big number, and then everything else is um is like normal. Actually, everything else. Yeah. No, everything else it would have to be minus one to match. Minus the shield. Okay, yeah. so anyways. the So the key here has to be the numbers then, right? Yeah. The index is the numbers. And the value is whatever it is. So this is the shield. And then at one we have ring mail. At two, we have scale mail. At three, we have chain shirt. At four, we have hide. At five, we have breastplate. And then at six, which is the last one, we have leather. Okay. So.
So set labeled to be, or sorry, we move, then we're gonna have to do a get dictionary value. Get dictionary value. Where the dictionary is this bad boy. And the key is whatever index was selected yep. here. And then we set the label to be that value. And then if we want any attributes or anything, we're going to have to also use that. So, which I guess we do want, because we need to set the AC. So, you set that, and then it's going to go... Um... Okay, I guess it's going to go, what type of armor do you ha have? So we're going to have to go get dictionary value. From... Classification dictionary. Where the key is whatever dictionary value we got. And that will give us which classification we have. So then the next thing that we have to do is figure out it's a C. So we need to get that dictionary value. And we need to determine the AC of the armor. Using the name. Okay, so that gives us the AC and its thing. Yep. So then we can actually adjust our AC based off of which of these we're on. Okay. So then we do an if statement. And we're going to have I get it's going to be three if statements, I guess. Wait, what's it checking for? What? Wait, what's it checking for? It's checking for what armor category it's in. Oh yeah, right. right. So if your armor category, nope, not that one, this one. If your armor category is light, else, or I'm just going to copy and paste these, actually. Else, if it is medium. Else if it is heavy. Helps if it's a shield. Might be helpful if I spelled heavy correctly. Okay. So those are our four conditions. So if it's light. We are going to do, we have to get value. Oh, how am I even going to do this? I want the value. I want like what I end up setting here. How do I, how do I set what, what? What's the value that comes out here again? My brain. Well, you can just you can get, get label. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
Oh, I guess I could just get, I could just steal this label, because this label should be the right number anyways. Right, I'll just steal that. That's a good idea. Good call, good call. <laughs> I was, like, I was like, oh my gosh, you're going to do all of that. <laughs> nope, that's a good... Overthinking thing. You're overthinking. That's a way better. So we're going to do a get label. We're going to get whatever your dexterity is, which comes from here. And then we're going to do addition. And we're going to add the AC of the item to whatever that label is. And then we're going to set your AC to whatever this new value is. With whatever this value is. Perfect. So that's if we chose light armor. So here's going to be the trickier one. Medium armor that limits you to a maximum of two. You could use the minimum behavior. So what do you mean? So we're gonna so we're gonna do another get label. Or we're gonna get we're gonna do this exactly, because we need this exact same thing. We need the decks. So the highest you can get from this is two. Is two. Yeah. There's a behavior that, that does this. It's called minimum. It takes the minimum between two numbers. So if any of the numbers are bigger, we always choose the smaller number. Oh, where is that? It's in logic. It, it will always the take the smaller two. number. Yeah, so you can set it to two and then put that get label in there. Uh, okay, so then if it, it'll max, so it'll say the get label two. if it's less, and if it's more, it'll say two. Yeah. Got it, got it, got yeah. it. Got it, got it, got it. I'm going to minimum that to two. And I think you can do the same for the other ones. And then we do an add value. Well, it, the other one doesn't have a minimum. Uh. And then oh, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we add values and we're gonna add that minimum whatever outputs from that um, plus this and then we're going to copy this behavior and we're gonna set it to this Okay, and then if you have heavy armor, heavy armor is actually the easy one. This. If you have heavy armor, reset your AC to whatever its value is. <laughs> nice and easy. And if you have a shield, then we're going to get whatever your current AC is and add two. So we're going to do get label, get your current AC, And then we're going to add a value. Going to add your AC 
to the AC of the shield, which is just a plus two. And then we set your AC to that value. There, so if you choose anything on the first page now, your AC will adjust. Okay. Yes. However, if you choose anything on the second page, we now have to have it do this exact same set of logic. I'm gonna use receive and broadcast message. I was gonna say, are we gonna do that that trick we did that that one other time? We're just gonna break all of this off into a uh... yeah, into its own thing. Yeah. You just need its the weapon name, right? Yeah, you just need the weapon name. Or the yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, all of yeah, all from this spawn on object. All I need is. Uh, down here, I'll do another two if statements, like these two. Yeah. Oh, I guess. I was gonna have all of this. I was gonna have all of this be what moves over, or be what's like be what's in the thing. So all we would pass in is. Um, Or we would broadcast which uh, which index, and then everything uh, else would be done based off which index you passed in. But I guess that doesn't make sense. I guess it does make more sense if I do, if it's from this point on. Thoughts? Hmm. Wait. Bottom object. Um, maybe I'm thinking it could get the weapon or the the name first in the object. Pardon? I think it should get the name first before it spawns the object. I think. I mean, it doesn't on our. Well. I mean, I guess it could. Like this, the get dictionary value could be the first thing. Yeah, and we can use the same the same spawn on the object for both of it, both of these. Ooh. Does it really make a difference if I change the like this order though? And just having this above the spawn object does it really? It shouldn't know. Like in the grand scheme of things, this is exactly the same as what we just had. Yeah. So that so I want to move all of this to a to its own thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's just gonna pass in its button index. Yeah, okay. So we'll move all of this off to its own somewhere over here. And we will do a broadcast message. Oh, wait up. What? Wait. It's using the same dictionary, though. It's, if It's going to use the same dictionary for both of them, though. So it's not... Using like, oh, that's what we I want it to do, though. Yeah. Oh wait, no. But for finding the name, and no, it's not. 
We want it. Yeah, if I'm finding the name. They do have two different different dictionaries. Yeah, I was I guess I can just give out the name. And then... So we would... And then we'll cut it off. We'll cut it here, and then... So we'll get the name... Yeah. And then we'll pass the name. Yeah, we can pass the name on. That'll work. So we're going to do broadcast message... And then we're going to pass, well, what should we call it? Um, armor? <laughs> and the value will be whatever name. dictionary name is. And then we're going to receive. Ooh, I think I found the bug. Did you? Yeah, click, click on broadcast message too. I mean 12. Yeah, it's blank. No wonder. It's because you selected its input field to type something in, and then you plugged in the value afterwards. So now it should work. Oh, weird. <laughs> okay. Um, so we're going to receive armor. Okay, so we have to change what we're setting the label to use the received message. And then do this and the this, and that will go through there. Y'all could get your stuff together. That would be great. Come oh by. Okay. There we go. And we got on awesome. here. And these should all be grabbing the same, the right things, because these are all grabbing based off that. Yep. Okay, so that should be it. That should be all we need to do. And I don't need to broadcast anything nah, after those are done. Broadcast. That can be the end of that message, or that can be the end of the behavior. So then at this alert, we just do these four behaviors. Yep. Steal this. And do if this alert button index is equal to six. That should still be the um the nope, cancel button. That's not what I meant. Yeah. I'm just gonna double check that. Yeah, six is cancel. Oh, wait, so I don't need that. I don't need an if. It just does nothing if it's the cancel button. Oh, that's true. I just need this one. Yeah, if it does not equal six, um, then we don't get that dictionary value, but it's going to be something similar. Okay, where is that dictionary? Did I not make that dictionary yet? I might not have made that dictionary yet. I don't think you made it yet. Yeah, I don't think you made it. Okay. So I need to make a dictionary. And then we'll test this, and that'll be the end of the stream today. Nice. So, 
This dictionary. Uh, Ooh, it just now hit the two hour mark. It just now hit the two hour mark. <laughs> nice. We're um, over time. That's time. I need this. If I could please have that number. Yep, thank you. So if it's. Oh no, I don't. But need... we don't have that. Do we? Yes, we do. Yes, sorry. Yes, we do. Oh, uh, okay. Because it would be. Um... Yeah, we, have, we always have to cancel them. I have to write this out again. Give me one second. We're gonna we're gonna have to test this. And I'm gonna need to go and write it because I just remembered I'm like the order of things is gonna confuse me. So there. Why do we have a blank one? I don't want a blank one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you just have to remove. Oh wait. What? I need to. I think I need to remove something. I don't know. That's the cancel button, though. It's at the top. Yeah. Wait, I, yeah. 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 I think I know what I messed up. I think I know what I messed up. That's the cancel button. Yeah. I think I know what I messed up. <clears throat> okay. Um. So it's gonna be. Um. Splint. What am I doing? What am I? I'm so lost right now at what I even want. Um, what is this? Why is this? Anyways. Um, splint, padded, plate, chainmail, half plate. Dotted leather. So we have those. Cancel. Quit. Um. So first, I suppose I should fix this. So the problem is that I did these too many times. Uh. Um. So right now I have, yeah, I have get value at index 13 set to being here, and index value 13 doesn't exist. That's not a thing. Um, so what I need it to be, if I were to do this properly... I want... Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wait, did I do that wrong? Yes, oh, I, I think sixteen, you did. seventeen. I'm just gonna do this. I want this one to not exist. Can I get rid of this? There yeah. we go. There we go. Okay, so. That was 16, then 17, then 18, 19, 20, 21, and cancel. And this should not exist. Okay. So. That will now be splint. No. I'm going to need to double check that. Oh, yeah. It probably changed. I mean, yeah, it changed. Okay. Nope, oh, splint is first. Go. Splint, padded plate, chain mill, half plate studded. Perfect. Okay, so... So the big number is splint. One is padded. 
two is plate. Three is chain mail. Four is half plate. Uh, five is studded leather. So we're going to get that using this. And then we broadcast. armor and this and theoretically now either one of those should work so we're going to test it not knowing if either one of them works we're going to see how it goes we're going to add one armor of each because we should be able to do that so we're going to add a shield that didn't work. That didn't work. Okay. Wait. What? So we're going to try and add a chain mail. And we got plate Coin. mail instead. Which means it did the spot before. Uh, that makes sense. So does this, is is this zero then? That doesn't make any sense though. What happens if I click splint? It doesn't Nothing. Do anything? Because How? there because it's zero and not the big number for some reason. All of a sudden is what oh, I'm thinking. Wait, wait, wait. You have you can only have two maximum. Oh right, I can only have two ma maximum. That's right. That's right. That's right. But why did so why did the first one not work? That's weird. I thought that was a cancel button, right? So the first one it received its message, it would have got shield. Cause it should have I picked shield, which should have been the big number. And then it should have gone through all of this properly, but it didn't. Give me one second. I'm just gonna throw an alert. The stream's gonna run a little long today, apparently. <laughs> Just want to know what the button index is. Let's see. Yeah, I should debug like that more often. Yeah, it's the big number, big so it should have. Why? Why? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So that was right. So the next question is, what am I broadcasting? Oh yeah, you're right. We're broadcasting what? null. Okay, so it's from that dictionary value behavior. What? Pull from dictionary four using the button index of that. And it has the big long number and shield.
If I pick another number, will it work properly? Hopefully. If not, then this whole system's flawed. Okay. That's not the That's right not. number, though. It's not the right one. But at least it did it. Yeah. I did change her and it wouldn't scale mail again. So maybe it's the number. Are, right. So is this returning 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Yeah, I think that's what it's... Yeah, no, that, that's what it's doing. Oh, right, and this is button 6. I'm an idiot. idiot. These dictionaries are all wrong. <laughs> Everything needs to be minus 1. This would apply to the other ones here, right? Yep. And this should be yeah. does not equal five. five. Okay. Let's give this another shot, see if it works any better. Hmm. I still feel like shield's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try shield. Um. Huh? What? Did you unplug something? Um, Wait, it's, it's not responsive. Yeah, it's not responsive at all anymore. Oh, there we go. Weird. Weird, I don't know what happened there. Shield? No. No. The shield's still broken. Maybe it's just having some big numbers. Change shirt. Yeah, that works. So all the other ones will work, but not the big numbers. And it did reset my AC, so that worked too. Okay, nice. It's just a big number. So, next question. We're going to have to restart to test it. But next question, does it also break on the second dictionary then? It should. The answer should be yes. Yes. And if it is, I'm going to end the stream there. If it's not, I'm going to dig into it. But if it is, that's where we're done. But splint shouldn't work. Yeah, no, okay. Hey. So it doesn't work on both of them. Is it negative or is it positive? I thought it was positive. I thought it was yeah, positive, Yeah, that would too. make sense, because it, was, it would be an integer overflow. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I got nothing. Um, the rest of them work. We will figure that out next week. Um, we'll just have to find another way. Yeah, we'll just, have to, we'll just have to figure out a different way of doing that. But we'll, we'll definitely get it sorted. Um... But that's it for the stream today. Uh, thanks, Rex, for being here. You're uh, welcome. Thanks to anyone who ends fun. up watching the stream. Uh, we appreciate you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, follow, you know, all those YouTube and Twitch related thingies <laughs> that make people know who we are. Um, and until next time... Uh, be good to yourself, be good to those around you, because it is important. Thanks again, Rex, for being awesome. You're welcome. And Goodbye, everyone. We will see everybody next week. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye.